Hello, my name's Lou Collins and thank you for visiting my channel. Um, now you want to learn about magazine transfer with a gel plate. It's really, really simple. You just need to look out for the right type of magazine and book pages to use. I'm going to be using my own brand of gel plate. It's new to the craft market as I film this. Um, it's from a brand called Textures, which is everything that I design myself. So we've got the gel plate and then we've also got the Brea in the Textures brand too. You can find these linked below at Craft Stash. So let's get started. Now two things that you're going to need are some paint and I would suggest going for a dark colour and then a much lighter colour. You can even go with just black and white. And then you're going to need some magazine or book pages. So what you want to look for is contrast. So I've got um, a picture of a lady here that's in black with the white face or the pale color face. That's going to show up really well. And then we've also got these coloring pages, which of course, black and white. Now what you're really looking for when you look at pages to transfer is, um, the black needs to kind of be like a glossy effect. If it's matte, it probably won't work quite as well. So if you're looking at say old book pages where they don't have, the, the print isn't glossy, that won't work as well. That's just a rough guide for you. There's lots of different inks and toners around there that will be printed with, but that's a guide I use and it doesn't usually fail me too much. So let's start by transferring this lady's image. I've cut it out to roughly the size of my plate. I don't mind that there's some text around here. Um, I would probably go in with some different text um, backgrounds and different accents later anyway. Let's start with a dark colour. So I'm going to use an acrylic paint here. This is absolutely the best for your transfer. So the type of acrylic doesn't matter, the brand doesn't matter. I'm just going to spread that evenly all over my gel plate. There we go, nice even layer. I've got a piece of paper here just for removing excess paint. And then I'm going to place this into my black paint there. So put that down. There we go. And I'm going to just take a scrap of paper so that I can press down all over the gel plate without worrying about getting any of that excess ink around the edge on my hand. As you can see, there's a few little lines there where the paper was slightly smaller. So just burnishing that down nice and hard. And then when you're ready, peel back your page and let's see if we have a transfer. Yes, we have a really, really good one there. I'm really excited by that. So as you can see, all that black ink has transferred. The places it hasn't transferred is where the glossy black was. So the next stage is to allow that to dry completely. And I do mean completely. If we go to the next stage and we start applying more ink over the top, you're simply going to be smudging all of those lovely lines and details that you've just created. So what you can be doing while that's drying, and it will only take in a warm room a minute or two, uh, clean off your brayer, make sure you don't have any excess ink there because you definitely don't want to be transferring black in this stage that we're going to do and then decide what color you're going to work with. So I'm going to find, I think I'm going to use just a white for you so we can really see that detail stand out and I'm going to use a craft card. Now again while that's drying just quickly run over the paper that I use. Now I usually go for a copy paper and don't go for anything too expensive but saying that I don't go for the lowest priced paper either when I'm gel printing. The very very uh, low or uh, inexpensive, low priced um, value paper packs that you get for your printer in the supermarket. Often they're so inexpensive, so cheap because they're made up of a lot of wood glue rather than the fibers. Now that glue is just going to dissolve when the moisture from your um, paint hits that and that will make your paper tear and fall apart. So go for, go for a mid-range copy paper, print paper, or I love this, this is a drawing pad, so a sketch pad, much better paper there. So let's see, that is now, if you just place your hand on, you can see that's all dry. So now I can do the next stage and I'm just going to put a really good layer of white over the top. And what we're going to do is nice and evenly and gently, very gently here, because I don't want to pull any of that black off yet, spread that white all over the top or the lighter color, doesn't have to be white, spread it all over 
your image, making sure every part of the image has got some on. And when that's spread over and it's nice and even, you can then start removing some. So start pressing down. We don't want to be dragging at this stage, we want to be rolling and gently removing some of that paint. Now you want to remove it to the point where you can start to see that image coming through. Now I can see her lovely face just in there. You might have to get at an angle to see it. So I'm going to now quickly place my paper over. I'm going to do this quickly because I do not want this to dry again. I'm in a very warm room today. That drying won't take long at all. Now this is where you need to burnish it more than you probably would for any other gel print pull. So I'm going to keep rubbing this as much as possible. Press right into the detail, particularly around where her face was, because that's the most important part. And you can see there where the gel plate is so I can make sure I've got all of the edges. You can just lift up a little corner to make sure you're ready. And if you're happy, let's lift that image up. You can see my gel plate underneath is pretty clean there. How beautiful is that for an image? How gorgeous. You can see so much detail. Let's just lift that up. There we go. Isn't that absolutely fantastic? An amazing, amazing transfer there just from a magazine print. Now let's have a go with those ones again from the colouring book too. Now on this one, because the black was so fine and not solid detail like the lady in the magazine, rather than getting a nice clear print, we've got kind of a distressed edge around here. So you can see the florals, a little bit of a toadstool around there as well, which is a lovely image if that's the look you're going for. So have some fun with magazine transfer with your gel plate. Like I say, you can find the gel plate linked below as well as the brayer as well. They're actually at the moment in a bundle, which is really good, um, a really good price. So go and find those and I'd love to see what you make. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this.